This is a magnetic gear assembly. There are two gears, each containing magnets with stators in between them. These gears only interact magnetically, which makes them very unique. First, we'll show how we built this device, then we'll talk about how it works. This is the low speed driving gear. It has 16 D62 magnets in a circular array with their poles alternating and a bearing in the middle. To help hold those magnets in place and to better see what's going on, we put magnets on the back side as well. This gear has four DX22 magnets, which are quite a bit bigger. And again, their poles are alternating. This is the higher speed gear. The gear ratio is determined by the number of magnets in each gear, so this setup would have a 4 to 1 ratio. As we rotate the low speed magnet gear once, the other gear should spin 4 times. And here we have a stand with steel stators. There are 10 3 8 inch bolts with nuts and a hole for the axle. All of these parts are made from scrap that we had laying around. The templates for each part are available on our website. Click the link in the description. First, we'll put the low speed gear on to see how it works. We need some plastic spacers to keep the magnets from directly touching the stators. As the magnets spin, it will temporarily magnetize the bolts in the same direction as the magnets. Here, the north pole is facing this top bolt in this direction. So this bolt should read North Pole Out. Using our handy Pole ID app, we can see that it does read North. Then South, North, South, etc. As the gear rotates, the bolts change polarity as well. Now we'll add the other gear, again using spacers. It took some testing to get the right spacing. If the larger, stronger magnets are too close to the nuts, there isn't enough torque from the other gear to overcome the pull force. As it sits at the top, the south pole of the high-speed gear is facing the top stator, so it attracts the north pole of the other gear. When we rotate it, the top stator changes to the north pole and pushes the north pole away, since light poles repel, but it attracts the next south pole in the opposite direction. This is happening all around the circular array and causes the rotational motion. As we turn the low speed gear once, the high speed gear turns four times. There is a limit on the amount of torque it can handle, so sometimes it can slip. The opposite is true, and for every four turns of the high speed gear, the low speed will rotate once.
There is another design where you can change the number of stators and the gears will turn in the same direction, still keeping the mechanical advantage of the gear ratio. Other designs incorporate electromagnets, allowing for variable speed and gear ratios. Magnetic gears are unique because there is no physical contact between the two gears, so mechanical advantage can be transmitted through non-magnetic barriers. Because they're not physically meshed together, the gear ratio can quickly be changed by just changing one of the gear pieces. They're quite fascinating and fun to play with. Click the link in the description for more information and for a parts list that includes the downloadable templates. Let us know if you end up making this for yourself. Thanks for watching.